from arresting an innocent woman. You don't have a f***ing right to touch me! No! No, you don't have a warrant! I was in my hotel room sleeping! To arresting a teenager instead of a grown man. Stay right there, keep it on your head. Watch these dumb cops make costly mistakes and put the wrong people in cuffs. Disclaimer. Imagine finding yourself surrounded by cops and you're stark naked. No, this isn't a bad dream. It's exactly what happened to Anjanette Young. On the evening of February 21st, 2019, the social worker had just returned home from work and she was getting undressed. She had no idea 15 armed Chicago officers were headed her way. Going in. Going in. Oh, no. That one knock was all these officers thought they needed to break down the door and flood the apartment with bodies. I don't have a gun. I don't got a gun. But nothing will prepare you for the humiliation and Jeanette was about to live through. It was only after the officers had run free around the house like a bunch of roaches that one of them thought to cover her with a duvet. I am the sergeant here. I'm going to explain everything to you in a second, okay? Are we all secure? But even after they made sure no one else was around, they continued to stand around with their thumbs up their asses and keep her in cuffs. Relax, that really cannot be the best Chicago's finest has to offer. But they continue digging through her sofa just in case their perp was Stuart Little. <laughs> Okay. You keep saying in a moment, tell me what's going on! You can't call her for 
These numbskulls had broken into the wrong home. Not just that, they were looking for a 23-year-old man. But instead of owning up to their mistake, they kept going around in circles till she forced them to show her the warrant. My son's name is Jimmy Smith. He does not live. Hey guys, everybody, uh, this <laughs> way. Let's get a photograph of this, yeah, and we're gonna move it in. Oh my God, this cannot be right. How is this legal? <laughs> You won't believe what this dumb cop said next. And Jeanette was eventually allowed to get some clothes on, but these cops put her right back in cuffs. <laughs> The cuffs were later removed, and the sergeant in charge returned with his half-assed apology We believe your story. before leaving her with a busted up door. He was later fired for multiple policy violations during the arrest when she sued the city. As for Anjanette, the city coughed up $2.9 million to settle her lawsuit. In the early hours of August 21st, 2020, Yama Khalif and his wife, Howie Awash, were in their downtown boutique stocking new inventory along with a friend. Not a suspicious activity to most people, but most people aren't Officer Isaac Madfis. Hey guys, you guys, I've never seen you open this late. Yeah. Are you just restocking? No, I'm just doing our thing. Just doing your thing? What's your thing? What's up? Well, I just, I've never seen anyone in the store this late. Is that late. a problem? Okay, baby. No, 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 just chill, just oh, chill. Is that a problem? No, sir, there's no problem. I'm just, I've never seen anyone in the store this late. I wanted to come check in, make sure there's everything's no okay. Problem. I'm making sure that everyone is okay there's down no here. There's no problem going on. So if you have a problem, you let me know right now if there's a problem. I just want to know why you guys are here so late. It does not matter. It does matter to me. Tense moments that have sparked outrage in the small North Bay city of Tiburon, where African-American business owner Yema Khalif was questioned by police officers as he and two others filled inventory in his store at 1 a.m. When I feel harassed, when I feel targeted, I, I say it. I say it as I see it, and that's what that was. Thursday, the city of Tiburon and city of Belvedere held a joint virtual community meeting with all sides reacting. I am incensed. What is happening is a whitewash. I didn't see anything racist that the policeman said to those fine people. Someone needs to tell Officer Isaac that criminals don't typically hang around to hang up inventory. Instead, he continued asking dumb questions. I just want to know why you guys are here so late. It does not matter. That's what I'm telling you. It does to me. Can you take a hand in your pocket, please? Why are you guys here so late? It does not matter to me. I don't care, sir. If you have a problem, call you. Call your chief of police. Call whoever you want to call. My supervisor is already on his way. Yeah, call him. Tell him to come talk He's to you. coming. And then... Um, Do you want you to own the store? No, or have any reason to not to talk to anybody else. Talk to me. You're talking to me right now. If you thought Michael Blasi, the supervisor, had a bit more sense than his boys, well... Supervisor, how are you doing? That's right, how are you You sir? came, three of you guys. What's, what's going on? What's the problem? There's three black people in the store. What's the problem? It's that. So it's one o'clock in the morning, there's three people in the store. There's three black people there. in the store, three o'clock in the morning, no, what's the problem? There's three people. There's three black people in the store, it's three o'clock in the morning, what's the problem? 
it's one o'clock in the morning and you yes. never have any activity at the store at that time. Okay. Is this your store? So what's the problem with having three black people in the store? It, you keep emphasizing black people. That's not yes, you see, yeah, you cannot tell me you don't see that. You see that three black people in a store. What's the problem with that? Okay. This street closes at nine o'clock at night and okay. there's never anybody in here. Okay. This isn't regular business hours. There's okay. no customers in there. Okay. Is it your store? That's all we want to know. Who, like, do you want to know why? He even came up to Yemma's face, making threats. Yes, I see. This is your store. Yes. So the next time yes. I come here, and there's yes. three totally different people here. Yes. I don't care what color they are. Okay. Three people in your store at two o'clock in the morning. You want us to walk by and not do anything? Because we you, can. You've seen me. We can do that. You've seen me. But it could be three of your employees. You've seen me, right? To wrap up this conversation we're wasting time so what's going on what, what's up what's the next deck okay. prove to us that you have keys okay, okay, wait, wait. there you go that's a perfect okay. thing i just asked you know what put wait. the key in the door and we're out of here put the key in the door put the key in the door if i you asked you if this your is your store you have not even if i'm telling you there you go stand back please there you go. not raise your voice with me put right? the key in the door don't raise your voice at me just chill i'm gonna put my key in the door that's your store what's that that's your store thank you sir that's all i need to know thank you see you do you know how crazy it is that one cop already had his hand on his gun? As dumb as all of this sounds, it gets even dumber. Thank you for your time. Can you put the key in the door, key in the door first? Huh? Can you put the key in the door, please? I'm not going to put the key in the door. He already told you. The chief of police is walking away. That's your supervisor. He said walk, walk away. away. We're good. He said this is store that's good enough for me. Next time, just walk Without getting an ID from the random white guy, these dumb cops rolled out. The video of the harassment went viral online. Khalif didn't answer the question, saying what people didn't see in the body camera video are the officers who had circled the business multiple times beforehand and had been watching them. He doesn't believe that would have happened if he was white. My pictures are plastered all over the store, huge pictures. It was a nearby business owner who yelled to officers that Khalif owned the business which diffused the situation. And the dumb sergeant, Michael Blasi, as well as the police chief, stepped down. In 2022, the couple received a $150,000 settlement from the city. The moral of the story? If you ever want to rob a store, get some random white guy to shout, it's his store, when the cops show up. It's disheartening to witness someone being targeted for no reason. But that wasn't the case for Kalon, who was simply harassed by an officer while minding his own business. No, no you're under arrest. So. Under arrest for what? Under arrest for what? What have I done wrong? But before that, in September of 2016, officers received a 911 call reporting a suspicious man in a neighbor's home. Dijon Yors, the victim, explained to the officers that he was there to visit his mother. However, the officers believed that a man living with his mother might pose a threat to the community. Have you ever had a North Carolina ID? For some reason, I'm just not finding your picture, and we just need to make sure that everything's legit before we leave. I don't know. The problem is, I told him uh -huh. what's going on. My mother's name is Livia. Yeah. He asked me for my name. You asked for my mother's name. Yeah. Livia Sue Okay. So, you, the, there's no problem. It's just that someone called in and said it was suspicious for somebody to be over here carrying shovel. But I'm here every day, though. That's fine. I don't know that. And we have I, to make I, sure. I told him he could prove it to you. Okay. Do you have an ID with you? No, I don't. Okay. What's your name? The woman. Spell it for me. D-E-J. At first, the officers behaved like normal human beings, asking for Dijon's credentials to verify his identity and ensure he posed no threat to society. However, their attitude changed quickly and within a few seconds. 3133, stand by.
The clowns in blue got into an altercation with Dijon. Despite him being extremely cooperative, they threw him to the ground, where Dijon can be heard saying, you can't do that, while the officer replied, I can. Implying that these cocky officers had the right to punch, harass, and fight with just about anybody they wanted. The officer kept justifying his actions by claiming that Dijon was resisting arrest, when in reality, anyone with a pair of eyes can witness that the man is resisting about as much as a kitten resists being picked up. Lord, you are so full of s**t. And I was sitting there the whole time. You can say this all day long, but that's not what you were doing. Bro, I, I, did I stand up on you? I didn't post up on you. I didn't work on you. you. I'm going to have to put him in, too. That's fine. Okay. I mean, I'm not going nowhere, dude. No, I'm you're not, not trying going to, anywhere, I'm dude. not trying to give you a problem. You gave me a problem because you were on the phone. I'm gonna figure out why. What you mean, figure out? Bro, I ain't never wrong with me. I ain't kill nobody. Why are you doing this to me? You fought because you wanted to and you punched me in my f eye, man. Oh, 313. Oh, 313. Yeah, no, but you can't do that when I'm not resisting you. You're resisting me. No, I wasn't, and you better not lie for him. You punched me in my f eye for no reason, and you punch and you hit much me in my f mouth, man. 313. You punched me in my the officer fought with Dijon for almost 10 minutes, continuously blaming him for what they were doing. This case also appears to be nothing less than a case of racial profiling, where once again a black man is harassed by the police for the crime of being black. You tell me, Multiple other officers arrived at the scene to de-escalate the situation, which they themselves had made worse. Ultimately, Dijon was forced into the back of a squad car. I mean, I'm sorry. I can't do nothing. Y'all always trying to No, baby, get my foot. Get my foot, my right foot. Thank you. Are y'all pushing? He was then taken to the police station, but all charges against him were dropped, and he reached a settlement with the city. Following this incident, an officer was forced to resign, and ironically later filed a federal lawsuit against the city of Greensboro, alleging violations of the due process and equal protection clauses of the 14th Amendment. It's funny how these triggered cops whine about infringement on their rights when it seems like their national pastime. What happened to Dijon, despite being on the right side of the law, was distressing to watch. You thought that was crazy? Wait till you find out why officers pulled guns on an innocent family. It all started when a confidential informant told a police officer that drugs were being sold by a couple in an apartment. So, on the evening of November 7th, 2017, a team of officers stormed into the apartment, warrant in hand, screaming orders and pointing guns at anyone in sight. Go, 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 go. Chicago Police Department! Chicago Police Department! Get out the crowd! Get out the crowd! Get out the crowd! Get out the crowd! Here's what I need you to do. Yes, sir. I need you to bring your leg up to your chest. Your other one. Okay. <clears throat> Even kids in the home were not left out. So there was a gun on you? Yes, both of us. Pointed at you. Yes, and both of us. There was just one tiny problem. He gave us, he gave us the wrong The officers 
were in the wrong home. And while the informant had given the wrong address, guess who was supposed to do a check before getting a warrant? Daddy! 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 I saw Spock my bag. I was wondering what's going on. Daddy, no! I switched the The only reason I put you in handcuffs is just to detain you. You're not under arrest, okay? Just, just so you know. We've been having problems with the people downstairs, so I don't understand like our door getting kicked in and all this kind of stuff. We've never been in trouble with the law. Well, I worked there ten years, and as soon as I haven't had what you have, I mean, I don't, I don't understand. I can tell you, you're not the person we're looking at. Well. I guess that makes it okay to keep the dad in cuffs and traumatize a couple of kids to boot. Gilbert Mendez remained in cuffs for more than an hour while the officers continued to ransack their apartment. That's going to be the search As insane as all this was, one particular dumb cop stood a head above the rest. No, no, I'm keeping this. I'm keeping this. You keep it. Like I told you, that's what it was for. No, Curtis Roberts lives upstairs. Okay, the information we got said he lived on the second floor. Okay. Okay, baby, that's all right. Be nice. The Mendez family has since sued the department. But in the dumb cop Olympics, it doesn't get any dumber than making a mistake and then doubling down on it, like these cops did. You don't have a But first, in May 2022, Roy Malim was going to be out of town for a few days, so his neighbor, Michael Jennings, stepped in to take care of his lawn. Well, that turned out to be a really bad idea. Howdy. Hey, man, how's it going? Pretty good. What you doing here, man? Why well, are they saying that? Is that your vehicle? It's not? It's the neighbor's vehicle. neighbor? You live here? No, I don't live here. Okay. Uh, they saying that this vehicle is not supposed to be here, and you're not supposed to be here. Who's saying it? They called about it. I don't know who I, called. I'm supposed to be here. I'm Pastor Jennings. I live across the street. You're Pastor Jennings? Yes. I'm looking out for their house while they got them. Okay. Uh, while they may fly. Okay. Well, that's cool. Do you have, like, ID? I don't know. I'm not going to be you no know, ID. Why not? I ain't did nothing wrong. Did well, nothing you, look, listen. Listen, I'm not saying do nothing wrong. No, listen, There's a suspicious I person. A, look, I used to be a police officer in good boy. Come here with that. Okay. Look, man, don't do this to me. You, there's a suspicious person in the yard, and if you're not one to identify yourself... I don't have to identify myself. I just thought that I identify myself. That guy know me. He came to the store that got broken. I live right over there across the street. Who calls y'all? That's what we got to figure out. But yeah, first, I... Calls? He don't live here. Hounding a guy who is clearly doing nothing wrong is as lame as it comes, but the cops just wouldn't back off. Instead of, I don't know, calling the homeowner to find out if he's allowed on the property, these dumb cops chose to do this. We're, we're just trying to talk to you, man. Come here. We got one that's not listening to it. Look, man, let me see your phone. Let me see your phone, dude. Just calm down, okay? No, no. Stop. I like this. Okay. We're just trying to talk to you and see. I'm not, I'm not, I don't want to argue with you, okay? All right, yeah. go ahead and do what you got to do, Doc. Do what you got to do. Go on okay. and lock me up. Look, just have a seat. It's already locked up. You're it's just. It's already locked up, Doc. You're safe. It's already locked up. Okay. Lost. okay. Lost. Just have a seat, okay? Okay. Already locked up. 313, show us. 1026, one black man. Sit, sit down. Sit down, man. Okay, just. Let me call my wife. You're not calling nobody. My son just got raised to the profile in uh, Michigan. He's got his master degree. He's an athletic director. Three police profiler came in. I was ex police officer. Good one. I told you I'm a pastor. Okay, look, man. I, uh, who called y'all? We. I don't have you. that. Demon. You will not I'm listen. I have a call on you. You have to identify yourself to me. I you understand what no, I'm no, telling no. you? No, I don't. 
me wait for what I want. Turn me down, book me, go do what you need. But Michael wasn't going to sit down and take whatever these idiot cops had to come up with. Hey, you know what? You know what? It's 10 15. 10 15. 10 15. I ain't, I ain't gonna sit there and have that, dude. It was only after this that these dumb cops found the person who'd made the 911 call that things got straightened out. You know that gentleman back? Yeah. You do? Yeah. Does, does he have from. Okay, does he have permission here to be watering flowers? He may because um, they are friends. Okay. And they went out of town today. So right. He may be watering their flowers. Okay. It'd be completely normal. Okay, that's is fine. that that's that's fine. If he would have said, "Hey, I got this," gave his identification because he's a suspicious person, uh, he said that's not his vehicle; it's, it's their vehicle. Okay. We're on call. Like, yeah. We're, we're here. Oh, this is probably my fault. Okay. Do you know who Roy Malum is? That's that's the person that owns that vehicle. Roy Malum. Now that somebody set them straight, I'm sure they'd let him go and ended this idiot parade. Yeah, right. I gotta keep their flowers water while they're down. You okay? And by the way, I won't get to come to the graduation, but we're gonna give you sign something. No, don't. Listen, yeah, listen, don't listen, listen, do listen, listen to me, man. Listen to me. Anytime the police come out and they you say, bring it, we want to identify you, you have to identify yourself because there's a reasonable suspicion, there's a reasonable man, there's a vehicle. There's a reasonable suspicion that you're here. There's not a crime. Yeah, if, you, if you would have said, yeah, here's my name, here's everything, no, we were like, okay. I told him my name. You I didn't tell me your name. I, I decided, he asked me who I was. I said, you didn't give it to me when I first Pastor asked. Pastor Jennings, Pastor Jennings. That's not a name. What was That's a pastor. Yeah. I need God, your name. The way y'all handled this situation was totally wrong. Well, listen. You, you racial profile. We're not racial profile. Yes, no, sir. No, sir. We're not about I that. I told okay? you I was here wanting to fly. But How do I know that's the truth? Anybody? I had the water hose in my hand. I was anybody pouring it on. <laughs> anybody can pick a hose pipe up. He is going to be so pissed when I tell him I got arrested. Because criminals are known for sticking around and doing chores. Instead of letting him go, these dummies got busy doing what they did best, laying out bogus charges. What are we going to do with it? Uh, you'll see the charge of... Uh, I guess disorderly conduct, the failure to obey a police officer. He refused to give any information. I got, he said he's not going to give me his social, but he gave me his name and date of birth. Okay, and she's saying the same thing. She won't give her name. Huh? Yeah, because she, he got arrested. Jesus Christ. Funny how it's okay when she doesn't have an ID. Just listen to how dumb they sound trying to back up their crazy actions. I'll tell you what's okay, going on, okay? And, 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 so we got a call here. Okay, we'll need us. We'll need his ID. I'm just gonna take his ID, and we're gonna. Well, we're we'll just. Daddy, wants to take his whole wallet, or just. To give your ID? I just wanted you to know. Okay. No, okay. Oh, that's fine. No, okay. That's fine. Okay. Um, if you don't give me an ID and we don't have a way to identify him, I will have to go to John Doe. But if, if he's got it, then that's fine. Okay. Yeah, he's okay. So he's um, been identified. I'll tell you he's identified what himself. She's identified here. him and verified yeah. who he yeah. is and where he lives. I'm the missionary, so. So when we get here, of course, we're going to immediately investigate the call. Yes. Find him on scene. All he's doing is watering the plants, and that's not a problem. That's what do you want? What do you want to do? And we say, hey, sir, we have a call here. What do you want to do? Need you to identify yourself, please. Like, no, I'm not identifying myself. You don't have to identify me. So on. And he began to walk away. Okay. He's just we were listening, walking away. So okay. of course we're detained. Do we don't know what's going on. Gotcha. After that, we radioed for them to contact her, have her step out, and talk to us. What she does tell us it's, it's a mistake. Yeah. And all that stuff. At this point, he's already collected the charge. We, once we place him on arrest, we can't unarrest him. Does that make sense? I, this is so simple. And the neighbor just told him this morning, please work the plant. And, and take care of it. He said that, but it was all house. afterwards. It was all afterwards. Yeah. And all we told him was like, if you're yeah. here to water the plant, that's okay. Just please identify yourself, just your name, and let us call the owner. And he didn't want to do that until he caught the charge. You know, that's definitely a lie. Michael was taken to jail and charged with obstructing government operations, a charge that was later dropped because, duh. In 2023, he went ahead to file a lawsuit against the city. I felt dehumanized. I felt helpless. I felt helpless. And it hurt me. And the same goes for Kalon who was harassed over the dumbest reason ever. In October of 2018, an officer approached Kalon Clarmone Hill after a 911 call, the reasons for which were uncertain. Despite Kalon sitting peacefully and minding his own business, the officer kept exaggerating the situation for no apparent reason. Yes, I'm Officer at the West Moyne Police Department. Um, the reason why I'm talking to you today is someone called in about you. Are, are you just handing out flyers? What, what, what am I doing wrong? I didn't know I, people were concerned. Yeah, concerned for what? Their neighborhoods. Hold on, hold on one second. 
Uh, hold on one second, Ricky. So it's not a big deal. Yeah, no, I'm just trying to figure out what we were concerned about. Well, in West Des Moines, we have a soliciting ordinance, so if you're knocking on people's doors... Yeah, soliciting is what? Offering services? Yeah. I'm not offering a service. Okay. Okay, so with that being said, I'd like you to leave me alone, sir. I have not broken any laws. Well, I'm still doing an investigation because if you're recording me, mine, I'm still recording too, so it's okay. You're investigating what, sir? A suspicious person. They, they called in about you. Okay. Do you have your you have an ID with you? No, I don't. Do you have your name? Do you have your name? No. <laughs> Am I under arrest? No. Okay. So well, I'm investigating. If I'm under arrest, then you what? have no reason to be talking to me, right? I sure I can. Actually, yes. You're a suspicious person. Someone suspicious, called in about you. Suspicious how? Someone, a neighbor, a neighbor called, called over here, so I don't understand why you're being difficult about this. The officer asked Kalon to identify himself, but Kalon knew that if he hadn't broken any laws, he had every right to keep his identity to himself, which obviously didn't sit well with the officer. Because I haven't done anything out of the way. Okay. So well, with that being said, I'll go about my business. Okay, okay, I'm not done with you yet. You're not free to go. Have I done it? Have I broken any laws? Can you send me one this way, please? He's Have I broken any laws, sir? I'm talking to you. I'm not done. I'm, I'm investigating a suspicious person. Have a nice day, sir. Stop. Stop now. For what? I can detain you. Stop. For what? Because you're not listening. I'm investigating nope. a suspicious it, person. Stop sir, now. Sir, have I, have I broken any laws? Stop. Tell me what laws I've broken. I sir. told you to stop. I don't have to stop. Yes. You know you I will. don't. Either arrest me, tell me what laws I've broken. Can you step, step it up? He's being uncooperative and trying to walk away from me. He won't <laughs> identify himself as a suspicious no, person I, I, investigating. Kalon got up and started walking away from the officer as he sensed he was getting into trouble, despite being well versed with his rights. However, the officer kept asking him to stop, even though he wasn't being detained. Stop. I'm going to tell you to stop. For what? Because what, I'm what, talking what, to you and you're not done this wrong. I just told you I'm so investigating you're who you are. 5700 block of Aspen. Stop. I'm telling you to stop and I'm not going to tell you again. And what will you do if I don't stop? I will detain you. Detain me for what? You're not listening. I'm doing an investigation of a suspicious what? person. A uh, suspicious person? Have I broken yeah. any laws? It doesn't, it doesn't, that's have not I the point. Have I broken any laws? Someone called you and it's a suspicious person. Okay, and? You and that be a suspicious person? Mr. Really? Ray? Really? I feel like you're a suspicious person. How would I be suspicious? You look suspicious to me. Okay, how would that be? I'm in you're a, you're a white car. man. We, you're you're uh, suspicious to me. I'm suspicious to you because yeah. I'm a white person? Yeah, with a gun. You're suspicious to me. No, now, stop. Now, away from me. I haven't done stop. anything out of the way. You can't arrest me. Arrest me right now if you want to. Here, turn around for him. For, 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 for what? what because you're not... Stop, what, what, turn around. What, what, what have I done Because you're not listening what, to me. What have I done wrong, sir? Get your hand... Get the phone out of my face. Because you're not... I'm, I'm investigating sir, a suspicious Sir, what person. have I done wrong? The officer kept following Kalon, trying to trap him in any crime he could imagine, even though he obviously hadn't committed one. But from there, things took a pretty dramatic turn. If I've not broken a law, you have no reason to detain me. Yeah. If, if, if you had a reason to, uh, to detain me, you would have detained me already. I can, actually. Yes, I can. For what? Because you're not listening to my directions. You're not following me. Turn around, right now. Sir. Turn around. I'm done. So you're going to arrest me? I'm detaining you. For, uh, for, for what? For what? Be resistant. For, for what? Because you're not listening to what I'm saying. Do not be resistive towards me. All right. I'll back my car. <laughs> All right. You, you, you. I'm it. detained. You have done it. <laughs> yeah. You're, you're a fool. You are a real fool, sir. And could you tell me what I am in for? Yes, why, because you wouldn't I follow. You wouldn't follow my directives. Your directives. And what were your directives? I told you to stop. Numerous times. And I asked you for what? And I asked you to identify what? yourself because you're... I'm investing in a suspicious person. Someone uh, had someone so had worry. Worried about what? Have I have I tried to enter anyone's property? They were concerned, so yes, you're gonna... Okay, no, I have not. Show me. Show me evidence where I've entered someone's property without them knowing. Show me evidence. There were two calls on you about doing entering people's areas of their, no. their house. <laughs> no, they weren't. Listen to me, sir. The officer detained him under suspicions that even the officer himself hadn't yet had a chance to think up. When Kalen asked the officer what he was under suspicion of, the officer repeatedly ignored the question. You can't just run up on a, on anyone and just say, hey, you're, you look okay. suspicious. Okay. He told you to stop. He didn't. We had calls this, on this you. Look at you. You're practicing stop and frisk right now. I've not no. no, you're under arrest. So. Under arrest for what? Under arrest for what? What have I done wrong? No, you, didn't, no. you didn't identify yourself. Okay. You didn't stop when he asked you to. Okay. Okay, right. this is what I'm asking. That's all I'm asking for is your name all and date of birth, man. All right, okay. So I can log someone. Okay. okay.
I'll blow you in. I just want to lock him and get him out of here because people were concerned because he was. Put him in custody. If he's going to walk away, don't. Don't want to play that game. He's just going to keep playing it next time. He's going to think that he can now just walk away from cops. But if he doesn't want to stop, he just doesn't have to. So he was sitting right here, and I asked, and I just said, "Hey, there was there was a con concern for you. Why?" When Kalon asked the officer why he was being arrested, the response was simply because he didn't identify himself. Following this incident, Kalon was found not guilty of any misdemeanor harassment of a public official by a Polk County jury. After all the charges were dropped, Kalon and his lawyer argued that he was treated like a criminal for no reason and had been racially profiled. Sometimes a lawsuit isn't enough for these officers. Some of them need to have the book thrown at them, like Ronnie Nelson. Around midnight on May 29th, 2020, Springfield officer Officer Ronnie Nelson was out on patrol with another cop when he stopped Solomon Smith and started asking questions. Come here. What, what I did, man? Huh? What I did? I don't know. What are you doing? I did, man. I'm just walking, going home. Where, where's, where's home my, at? My place is down the road. I'm not bothering nobody. Okay. You got any ID on you? I left my ID at home. Okay. Well, just give me your name. Why y'all got harassing me for? We not harassing nobody. I'm just doing my job. I'm, well, walk, I'm going. What's home. your job? I'm, I'm, I'm walking down the road, minding my business. I ain't bought nobody. Okay. Well, it's. I'm trying to get home. It's, it's 12 o'clock at night, and when we see people out that we don't recognize, we I'm get out. I'm walking by myself. I don't bother nobody. Okay. Give her, give her, give her your name and your uh, date of birth. <sighs> Clearly, Ronnie was the midnight police, and he didn't take kindly to people walking willy-nilly at that time. I'm not for to be bothered with this stuff. This is what's of the devil. That's all it is. I'm not doing nothing, sir. Okay. I'm minding my business. I don't bother nobody. I'm quiet. I, I stick to myself. Okay. Mr. Eastman, how do I spell your first name? S-O-L-O-M-O-N. S-O-L-O-M-O-N. I know. Okay. I don't know who you are. I got to see you. Okay, I don't know who you are. I'm and So, it's 12 o'clock at night. You're out here walking. I'm minding my business, though. Okay, I'm you're... not doing I ain't hearing nobody. Okay. You should not be no problem. I'm, I'm, I'm minding my business. You should not be doing... I'm not doing it to nobody. I ain't hearing nobody. I ain't make you commit no crime. I never said you did. Why are y'all coming at me? Because... I'm not doing that. It's 12 o'clock at night, problem. and at 12 o'clock at night, most people are at home in bed. Minding my bed, coming from my friend's house. That's the problem. Okay. That's why you can't do it. Okay. Like but Solomon wasn't buying this excuse. That's when Ronnie slipped the real reason for the stop. Whether you believe this or not, okay, I'm good. you're in the area that's known for uh, a lot of drug activity and prostitution, okay? All right, so. I don't know who you are, so I'm going to get out and I'm going to identify you. And if you're good to go, you're going to be on your way and you can go home and do whatever you want to do. I'm not for the with y'all because it takes too long. I got clean work. I'm not for the argue okay, with the, I got Jesus if, Christ. That, right. Jesus Christ will back me up. Okay, you know that's that. fine. Don't, don't, don't do that. After keeping Solomon waiting and waiting and waiting, the other cop returned with news. Solomon was giving a fake name. That was when all hell broke loose. So, uh, Mr. Smith, why did you tell me your last name was Eastman? Well, and I ain't no crime. What's his, what, he didn't give us the right name? Uh-uh. What, what's his name? His name is, uh, Solomon Smith. Okay. My name is Solomon Smith. Yeah, but you ain't asked me all that. Okay. You asked me... What's my, my, my name? All right, turn around. Turn around, put your hands behind your back. Turn around. Turn around, put your hands behind your back. Put your hands behind your I'm back. Sorry. Put your hands behind your back. Ma'am. Turn around. Please give me a chance. Please. Turn around. Please. Turn around. I'm trying to go home. Turn around now. I'm trying to go home, please. Get on the ground. Will you give me a chance? No. I Get explain. on the ground. Get on the ground. Explain. I will tase your ass. Turn around now. Why are you doing me like that? Turn around. I'm not doing nothing to you. Turn around. Why are you doing this to me? Turn around now. Why are you doing this to me? Turn around. I'm gonna call. I'm gonna call the people on you. Uh, you call whoever you want. Turn around. I got. I got people that would do something to you. Okay, that's Don't what. Don't hit me. Turn around. Don't bother me. Turn I'm around. 
If you weren't with me, I would tell you the truth. Turn, get, I'm tired listen, of talking to you. Listen, please, please, please give me a chance. Turn around. Please give me a chance. Turn around. I'm trying to go home. Turn. I'm trying to go home, please. Please. Turn around. Turn around. Man. Don't, don't read, don't, I'm don't you. Get your mom. hands behind your back. I'm going call my mom. Put, no, get your hands out of your pocket. Out of your pocket. Solomon kept begging the cop, but instead he called backup, and things quickly spun out of control. You got to work with me. No, I ain't got to work with you. Listen, I'm not. I said I'm turn. With you. I said turn around. Man, y'all don't mess with me. Hey, don't, don't move. Now, stop, now. Man, man, man you gotta stop pushing me, y'all. Get on the ground. You heard my back! Get on the ground, bro! Man. Kill me! Man. Get on the ground! Oh, please! Get on the ground! 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 Get on Brother, you had the chance to talk to me. I'm trying to, I'm trying to tell you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, sir. Why'd you have to go this route? I'm sorry. But the only person who should be apologizing are the dirty cops putting him in cuffs. It turns out they had heard Solomon's name wrong. Eastman, not Smith. To make this case stick, Ronnie lied in his report that Solomon had tried to punch a cop at the scene, but none of the other officers backed him up. This was how the former officer found himself rocking prison clothes after he was charged with felony official misconduct and misdemeanor battery. Serves you right, Ronnie. And when they're not arresting the wrong people because they have an axe to grind, they're arresting the wrong people because they made stupid mistakes. On June 13th, 2021, Charlotte Mecklenburg Police received a 911 call from a man after he got stabbed, the culprit, Jaslyn Horn. The officers showed up with guns aimed at the woman as she sat in her car. It's always funny how cops will point guns at you and wonder why you're so scared. You got anything on you? Any kind of weapons, anything like that? Right. Walk her back to her car and then get a good search. Okay. Follow me, man. Is your phone and everything? Yeah. yeah. Just take a deep breath. You're all right. You got anything in your shoes or anything? No weed, nothing like that. Oh. Okay. I don't smoke. I'm a school teacher. I, I don't you. understand what's going on. Okay, I'll explain everything to you in just a second. I just finished working out. I don't know what's going on. Okay. Without getting even an ID from her or asking for her name, she'd been arrested. It was only when her grandma showed up asking questions that these idiot cops realized they'd made a mistake. Okay. Yeah, she's okay. Okay. I what? Okay, who are you to her? I'm, I'm her grandmother. Grandmother. Okay. And what's her name? Jasmine. Jasmine. Do you know a Jasmine Horn? Hey, ma'am, will you come here for a quick? Hmm. What, who are you going to get? Jaleesa, her twin. No, 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 no. A, um... Uh... The police out here. For what? I don't know. I don't know. What's on there? No. Yeah, email? Oh, that's 100%, yeah. Yeah, so I don't, you know, they haven't explained to me yet how that's turned in. Okay. Like how she was going to get somebody in the first. Do you know yeah, a, a, a Jaselyn? J-A-S-E-L-Y-N? Not her twin, I don't think. They twin. Right, right, right. Jasmine, and this is Jaleesa. Yeah, right. we're not looking for, we're not looking for Jaleesa. Do you know a Jasmine? Jaslyn. Jaslyn. Somehow, these dumb cops had switched out stabber Jaslyn Horn for school teacher Jasmine Horn and just ran with it. And now they were waiting for Granny to solve the case for them. James, maybe you can explain these names to, to them. Hold yeah, can I speak to her? Yeah, that's What's her mom. name? What's her name? That, that's her mom. She don't know. You might have. Okay. Hello? Hello, I'm calling about Jaslyn Horn. 
to see what's going on. I'm Jasmine Jaleesa's mother. That's my mom's house. What's going on, sir? Okay. We're, we're trying to find a Jaislin. A who? Jaislin. J-A-S-E-L-Y-N. Horn. There's no Jaislin Horn there. Okay, so y'all don't know who that is? No. Okay. Well, for some reason, um, we got an email saying that a Jaislin Horn was driving your daughter's vehicle. And so we found the vehicle and your daughter in it, and we thought that's who that was. No, but that's my daughter's car. Yeah, I know. That's that's why we're confused, and we're trying we're trying to sort it all out. As excuses go, that has to be up in the top three stupidest ones anyone has ever encountered. Jasmine was released and has filed a report against these moron cops. On June 24th, 2019, Officer Lors from the Clarkston Police Department approached 52-year-old Mark Domino after receiving a 911 call from an unknown person claiming that someone was trying to steal the car. In reality, Mark was just looking at his own wife's car. How's it going, man? I'm Officer Lors, Clarkston Police Department. Let me put your phone down for a second. What do you got in your pocket there? Is that just something hanging off your backpack? What is that, a hanger? What are you doing with that? Is this your bike? Yes. It's your bike? You got ID on you? This idiot officer considered it a crime for a person to not identify themselves while not being under suspicion of anything. And from there, things escalated. Why do you need my ID? Because somebody saw you looking at cars, so I'm here just checking to see what's going on. You got ID on you? Yeah, I do, but okay, do anything? Yeah, I'm figuring that out right now. I'll take a look at your ID, though. You don't need my ID unless I did something. Okay. Unless you're taking me in for something like Turn around, done. put your hands behind your back for right what? now. For now! What? For what? Turn around, put your hands behind your back. For now! What? For what? Before we get started, 108, pick it up. You're gonna You're gonna obey me or you're Why gonna go on the ground. Why obey you? Because I'm giving you a lawful order. For what? Turn around and put did your I hands behind anything? your back. Did I do anything? Yes. Did Turn did around and put your hands behind your back. What did I do? Do you want to get tased? Do, excuse me? Turn around and put for your hands. For what? Do you know how to work here? The officer immediately got triggered and started making some really unnecessary threats, despite the situation simply calling for a straightforward answer to a straightforward question. Okay. So what did I do for you to approach me and then tell me that put my hand behind my back? Sir. What are you arresting me for? I'm not arresting you. Right now you're not co uh, cooperating with for me. For what? And you're getting agitated. You for, no, you asked me for my ID. Right. I don't have to give you my ID. Okay. Unless then. I've done something. What have I done? Turn around and put your hands behind your back. For what? Are you arresting me? And for I'm, what I'm purpose? detaining what? you. With a dash of racial profiling, the officer made it his mission to turn the simple situation into a conflict. And this could have been easily resolved until this happened. You're not even listening. What did I do for you to detain me? Turn around and put your hands behind your back. Was there a report that I stole something? Yes. There was a report that I stole something? Turn around. You just said... Stop, Dick. Stop. I Stop. Get my phone out. Stop. As tensions escalated and frustration mounted on both ends, Officer Lors decided to take things to an alarming level. Stop. Stop. No, no, no. no. Stop. What? You're going to get paid. Put Stop. Your hands Stop. Why are you your hands on Stop. Stop resisting. You are attacking me. Stop resisting. You got to call some vehicle prowling. You match the description. Stop resisting. Oh, black guy vehicle prowling? Really? Stop. Was a black guy vehicle? Stop. Why are you trying to take me down? Why are you fighting? Stop. you are trying to force me. Take me down for no reason. You're pushing. Stop. Pushing what? Stop. I know my rights. But this was only the beginning of what the officer had in store. What he did next to Mark is just mind-boggling. What did he do? What did I do? Stop. I just told you. What did he do? Stop. I didn't do vehicle anything. Proud suspect. Stop. I'm not a vehicle. Stop resisting. Okay. Okay. You're under arrest for obstruction. Obstructing what? Obstructing what? Obstructing you. You are going to get tased again. Stop. Roll over on your stomach. Get on your stomach. For what? Roll over on your stomach. Why are you just Dude, you are causing your own problems right now. You are causing my problems. You would have been done by now if you just talked to me. No. I told him my rights. You're fighting us. I told him my rights. Stop resisting. 
Just wait for the other guys. Okay? Other units, pick it up. Oh, you're very. Give me this hand. Put it behind you. Oh. Got that one? Why are you? Why are you? Mark faced charges of resisting arrest and obstructing a law enforcement officer after his arrest, but he was released a few hours later. He then filed a $5 million lawsuit, resulting in a settlement of $25,000, and all charges against him were immediately dropped. Do you know what's crazy? That's not the only time a cop has done something really dumb and made a very costly mistake. You might be wondering why a grown-ass man is crawling on all fours on the road. Well, you're about to find out. On April 24th, 2020, Aurora and Denver police officers were on the lookout for a fugitive when they pulled Teddy Pittman over and ordered him to crawl. I got it. I got it. I got it. No one else in the car. Got it. I got it. Yeah, I got it. After making sure there was no one else in the car, the cops approached him with guns drawn and cuffed him. So he's got something in his front. Yeah. Only then did they attempt to find out who he was. What's your name? Yeah. Let's see the clip. There's a gun still in the car, probably. What's your name, man? So now we're code for a Parker. Hey, your gun's right here in a Crown Royal bag. Superman must be working with Aurora police officers, because how did that guy see a gun without touching the bag? And that's not the best part. Wait till you hear what description they were arresting him based on. Well, he's got tats on his arms. Yeah. yeah. I see you saying he had tats on his arms. He's got tats. Yeah, what about, did you look at him? Yeah, yeah. Because when she was cop, when she was copping him, you could see the yeah. tats up here. Yeah, that was kind of a. We just needed an idea to see if it was a guy. Like, he's not identifying himself. Well, he could probably, probably try to get a fingerprint scanner down yeah. there. So I don't think he's done. So. A whole bunch of cops had shown up to arrest a man they weren't sure was their man over, wait for it, tattoos. After forcefully taking out his ID, these dumb cops finally realized something. Is there anybody with a fingerprint scanner that can respond down here? Any unit with a fingerprint scanner? Any unit with a fingerprint scanner that can respond to a nice call? You can sit up, man. You don't have to lay there like that. Oh, you can sit up now. Can you run this? We got good ID, so it's not our target. Okay. So we can check for Palpo, and obviously, I don't know if he's got dope in there or whatever. But nah, not arresting the wrong guy doesn't suck. You know what sucks? Making a 44-year-old man crawl on the road on all fours. And surprise, surprise, there was no gun in his car either. But these dirty cops didn't just apologize and let him go. Instead, they started searching for outstanding warrants they could get him on, before finally settling on giving him a citation for a bad left turn and a suspended license. But a judge dismissed the ticket, and it was Teddy's turn to sue the department for excessive use of force. And that's not even the first nor the last time cops have made an arrest just because they were offended that they didn't get the red carpet treatment. They even put the next one in restraints. At 4 a.m. on September 26, 2022, 54-year-old Sherry Mayer was asleep in her hotel room wearing nothing but a t-shirt when West Jordan police showed up at her door. Hey, we're here to uh, a call saying that everybody else is there with you. Please, Riley, huh? Is there anybody else there with you? There is nobody here. Nobody there? Riley, stop. 
Can I please shut the door and put my pants on? Yeah, let me finish explaining. We're here because they've been here Bro, yelling. Stop! Ma'am, they've been hearing yelling tonight, and that's yelling? why we were here. Yes. They've been hearing yelling. They thought something was going on in this room. So you're the only one in here right now? Yeah, I'm the only one. Can I please shut the door and put some pants on? Right now? Please. So we're done talking, and we'll figure that out, okay? Please put your foot out. It might sound like these cops had been directed to Sherry's room, but they hadn't been. They hadn't even spoken to the manager before they showed up at her door looking for people arguing. Okay. There's no, there's, I'm the only one here. Put your foot out the door. I'm serious. Okay, okay. step out of the apartment. No, I don't have to. You don't have a warrant? You get in here? There's no okay, yelling. Got a call about there is nobody here. here. That's what we're here Just to me and my dog. Out. If you work with us, we'll see that nobody else yeah, is there. I, no, I have no issues. Put your foot out the In summary, let us violate your rights or we will make things hell for you. But since Sherry decided she wasn't playing ball, the five stooges took matters into their own hands. Put your foot out the You don't have a warrant. Right you now do not have a warrant. Just get out. Let us finish the No! And you don't have a warrant. Sure there's, there's nobody here. here. Me and my dog. Okay. If that's the case, we're just going to hear and talk to you. That's all no. we're doing. Get your foot out the door. Man. Out. Now. Stop. No. You, you don't have a right to touch me. You don't have a fucking right to touch me. No. No, you don't have a warrant. What the fuck is this? What did I do? You don't have a right to come in here. Hey, you like back. You didn't have a right to come in here. You don't have a f***ing warrant. You do not have nothing. No! You do not have a f***ing right. Let me put some pants on, please. Okay, we are past that point. Uh, we're past that point. But no one else was inside the room, just as she said. So did they now just let her go? Well, let's see. After muting their body cams and doing a hurdle for two minutes, these dummies came back in and took things up a notch for some reason. Wearing nothing but a t-shirt and a bedspread, Sherry was taken outside, and the cover-up and lies began. Yeah, what's that? This is a cool, uh, little restraint device. Why are you arresting me? But why? What did I do? I'm oh, with my dog, with my dog. What did I do? What crime am I being? What did I do? You assaulted oh. Officer Wood. What? Yep. What? What? I you. You assaulted Officer Wood. Oh my god, please, are you serious? Sherry, who suffered from a back injury, was put in restraints. They were so tight that she lost consciousness, not once, but twice, on the way to jail. You came and knocked on my door while I was sleeping. All this to back up the lie that she'd assaulted one of them, somehow. Sherry was also charged with assaulting a peace officer, interference, and three counts of assault by a prisoner. Too bad the body cam footage caught them in their lie, and the charges were all dropped and dismissed. And Sherry wasn't the only person these dumb cops violated that night. Hey, hey would, your, have, uh, would your husband be able to come and pick up your dog? Oh yeah, yeah, call him. But they never made the call. Instead, they took the dog to a shelter. Sherry kept her promise and filed a lawsuit against the West Jordan police. As for the child they came to check on, that was totally ignored. You think this was the first time Chicago police broke into the wrong person's home? Well, think again. Chicago police are what? Chicago police are what? 
But before that, on August 15th, 2022, Espanola police were on the lookout for Ricky Martinez. The 31-year-old had committed a string of armed robberies and made away in a white pickup truck with stickers on the back. It wasn't long before the officers found one that matched the description, and they came in guns blazing. Hey, let me see you get out! Put your hands up! Open the door! Put your hands up! Walk back! No, hey, no! Open, let me see your hands! Walk out! Walk out! Walk back! Let me lift up your shirt! Turn around! Lift up your shirt and turn around! Walk back! Turn around, walk back! Walk, walk! Keep on walking back! 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 Get on your knees! Get on your knees! Hands on your head! Stay right there, keep your hand on your head. The guy in cuffs is 17-year-old Adam Pacheco, a high school quarterback. And even though he insisted he was in school all day, the officers had other ideas. No. Adam, what? Well, who dropped you off? Who dropped you off that truck? No truck. That's your truck? Yeah. I got you. I just got out of school. You were in school the whole time? Yeah. I live here. This is my house. That's, that's the same truck? Same, 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 same truck, bro. Yeah. Okay. That's cool. How how old are you? 17. 17? Who's this truck re registered to? This is my truck. This is my dad's. Your dad's? His name's Adam Pacheco. Okay, who's Lisa? Lisa. That's my stepmom. Where's she at? She's at home. Where? Uh, no. Uh, what's it called? That's the... That's the movie theater. Let me see it. Yeah, let me see it. Even though the officers were trying to act like they had the right truck, that wasn't quite the case. So your, your truck is just a truck we've been looking for. It's, it's been involved in some stuff. Yeah. What is it? In some robberies. So that, that's what. So as you're saying, just just hang out for now. Okay. This has been at your house the whole time. Yeah, I've never. I've never Oh, okay. Yeah. At the labs there? Yeah. Okay. Like I said, man, you're, you're under arrest, brother. Just, just have a seat. You want to call your mom? What do you want to do? You want to call your mom? Call your mom? Where's your phone at? It dropped, I think. I don't know if this is it. This is it? No, no, but I don't know if it's like the actual truck they saw on something. You know my mom's Huh? I know, that's what I'm saying. But wait till you see how quickly their tune changed once they got through to his mom. You got nothing on, no weapons? No. I'm gonna take off the handcuffs, sir. Hi. Hey, what are you doing? Uh, I don't know. So, I, there's cops here at the house. And I, I tried to pull into the house and I got pulled over. And then, I don't know. Can you put this on? Hello, man. Driving, Hussey, bro. Hey, so, um, your son's not in any trouble right now. Um, he's just being detained, detained for right now. Um, so, the truck that he's driving, Matches the description of uh, an armed robbery that took place in the city. Okay. Well, like I said, it, it just matches the description, so uh, we're just so he's on he's under arrest. But the police the police department wants to talk to him. Okay, he's a minor. You will not come without That's that's fine. I uh, like I said, we're just we're just holding him for Espinal Police Department to get here. Just outside, outside the house. Uh, outside, we're, on, we're at the intersection of 106 and 76. So it's the same truck. Oh yeah, same. Well, it was a. That's a plate that we were given. Really? Yeah. But here's the thing. The plate numbers were completely different. They didn't even look vaguely the same. But when they tried to tell that to Adam's mom, she wouldn't let their dumb excuses fly. Hello. I'm talking. Oh, sorry, ma'am. I couldn't hear you. So, I guess there was a confusion, but this was a truck that we were given out to uh, look out for. I am livid. You know what? No, I understand that. And you guys have him because He just got out of school. You're talking about a 4.2 GPA kid. I understand, ma'am. But that's the information that we're given, you know? So, that's 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 why we pulled him over. Your information before. Yes, ma'am. Uh, but that's the information that we were given. I need your name. And I need, I need your badge number. Okay, Officer Rodriguez. And what is your badge number? 7, oh, 135 now. 
Floyd? Yes, ma'am. You will be hearing from my attorney. This okay. Is That's fine, ma'am. You, you literally detained him and put him in handcuffs. He's a fucking no, I understand, but at the time we don't know that, so that's what we were. That's what we were rolling for. What are you doing with him now? So he's gonna get released. He's gonna go home. This is fucking ridiculous. You yes, ma'am. Hearing from my attorney. Okay, that's fine. What is your What is your manager? Is this Espanol PD or who the hell are you? So Espanol PD is the one that received the call, and they're the ones that put out the bolo for the vehicle. Uh, this is state police. This is ridiculous. Adam was released with a speed that would make your head spin. What's up? You're good to go, bro. Yeah, yeah. No worries. She's just freaked out. I was freaked out. No, that's fine, man. Is that her? No, that's, that's my Nina. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. This mom wasn't joking about the lawsuit either, and has since sued the department for multiple violations during her son's arrest. As we move to our last case, it will make you think that if officers didn't have body cams, they'd be searching almost every African American they could find. On the 1st of October 2020, fashion executive Salahe Bembury was stopped by an officer just because he was walking down the road and minding his own business. What the officer did next is nothing short of astonishing. Yeah, real quick, man, we, so we were over here and we saw you walk across the red hand over here, so we just wanted to make sure, like, what's going on? How come you did that? You don't want to wait for the light? What did I do? I'm like a little, like, startled. Right here, right Rodale? Oh, I jaywalked, I guess. Right, 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 right. right. Yeah. So we saw you, but we were going to stop you over here, but then we decided we were just going to come this way and talk to you. Understood. How come you did that, man? I jaywalked. I don't know what else to say. I don't know. I don't... I don't, yeah, I don't know what to say. Okay, well, just because the area you did it, you see how there's a bus and stuff like that? We yeah. get a little... Get All right, I've just been GPS and trying to figure out where I'm going. Okay, do you have any ID on you by chance, man? <laughs> Without reaching into your pockets, you don't have any weapons or anything, right? I don't. I'm, like, super nervous. Cause no, no, I get you, man. That's right. I'm not putting you in handcuffs or anything. You want to take my phone or something like that? No, you can hold on to it. Right. I don't want to hold on to So what do you want me to do right now? I just wanted to see if you had any ID, but without reaching into your pockets... I do have an ID. Awesome. Do you have any weapons or anything? I do not. The officer makes Selehe look like a criminal, when in reality, he's a well-known fashion executive all over the world. The officer then asks Selehe to show him an ID, but without reaching into his pockets, which is as funny as it is impossible. Okay, do you mind if I just... You can do whatever you, you need to do, man. I'm just nervous. I'm gonna, can I put down my phone? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, okay. yeah, No worries, man. What's your name? Selehe. Right, I'm Officer Krug, man. Nice no to worries. meet you, bro. I'm just gonna check to make sure you don't have any weapons if you don't mind, okay? Face that way real quick. Put your hands behind your back, palms together like you're praying. Awesome, thank you. All the way, like like you're praying, like you're praying. Interlace them, interlace them. Spread your feet. Cool, man. Don't want to mess up those shoes. Those are pretty nice. He said I can search you, right? You do whatever. Cool, man. Well, what we like to do, like when we stop someone, we just to make sure you don't have any weapons or anything. We just like to. What's unfortunate is like I literally designed the shoes that are in this bag and I'm being fucking like searched for it. Really? Yeah, I do. That's so why I'm not, that's why, like I said, man, you're not in handcuffs or anything. I'm yeah, just talking to you right now, okay? Selahe was stopped and searched by clearly racist cops on the obviously bogus suspicion that he might be in possession of a firearm. I do, but I'm just walking down the street. This is a little ridiculous. Well, like I told you the why, right? Just cause, I like, understand, but the pat okay. down feels excessive. So what else can I do for you guys? No, no, just relax, man. Like I said, can you I just- turn around? Absolutely, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was just to, to make sure you didn't have any weapons right here. I'll just leave it down for now. Well, we'll, we'll be done. So I just want to see if you had any idea on you, sir. Is it in here? Yes, it is. Do you mind if I just pull it out? Mm -hmm. Okay. How do you say your first name, sir? Slee. Slee. Just gonna run in real quick, partner. Make sure everything checks out, okay? Can I take my phone, please, now? It's like clearly a phone. Is that at least okay? No, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Yeah, if that makes you feel more comfortable, absolutely. Take a look at it. The cop's treatment of Salehe is making him visibly uncomfortable. They even took his ID from him and searched their database desperately for any reason they could find to put him in cuffs. Yeah, if that makes you feel more comfortable, absolutely. Take a look at it. I have to record this because I just don't feel comfortable with that. Well, just, just because right now you are being detained, just because we're talking to you, okay. um, and we don't know, not saying that you would do this, but people have called and they have friends come and then it comes an officer safety I'm literally issue. just going to record right now. That's all I'm doing. You see it's recording and that's all I'm doing because I feel, you feel, you hear it in my voice, I'm uncomfortable, I'm nervous. You understand well, yeah, the yeah. climate that we're no, in? No, no, I understand. Is there anything I can do to make you feel more comfortable? Not like you're, really, you're not dude. in handcuffs or anything, not right? really. Like your boys are pulling up, I'm uncomfortable. I'm not making any like, like fast right. movements, but this is uncomfortable for me. Huh? Are we making any jobs? No, but this is uncomfortable for me. I just want to get to my car, so I'm just going to hit record for you. Yeah, hey, whatever you want to do, sir. But okay. like I said, you understand why we, we stopped you, correct? And you admitted to jaywalking? So I'm in Beverly Hills right now, and I'm getting fucking searched for 
shopping at the store I work for and uh, so, see, being see now what you're doing is you're making it completely different to yeah, what I we mean, just talked guys, about guys you're making a completely so different you, narrative you check my ID what's going on <laughs> do I have anything okay. on the record no you're good to go sir. I'm good to go that's why yeah, I man. but listen so you, you can't jaywalk correct you understand? understood yeah yeah can I mess up back please but you see how you just switched that complete narrative no, like no, no you were talking to us saying, I know how yeah you, guys you can am I good to go yeah you're good all right you guys have a good next time don't change the narrative like that though Following this incident, civil rights attorney Ben Crump, known for representing George Floyd's family, alleges racial bias through a task force called Operation Safe Street and Rodeo Drive Task Force. The suit cites recent department data stating 105 out of 106 arrests made by the task force were African American, with the other being Latino, raising serious concerns of racial targeting.